Hello friends, this is my second JavaScript tutorial here. Today I am going to show you how to show and hide the necessary HTML elements uh, using JavaScript. So this is my demo here. It is a country and uh, it has two lists, list items, US and Canada. So for example, the USA has state city and zip code. In this Canada, it has province, city and postal code. So basically there are two uh, row elements and depending on the detail element I'm showing only one and I'm doing that using JavaScript so let us find out how to do it using JavaScript so let us create uh, let us add a waveform and let us keep it as it is so basically our waveform should look like this so it has a country and drop down and it has the state city and zip code for USA and for Canada it is province city and postal code so here I'm going to add a table and it has T3 tier. So let us copy. So this is for the country drop down. This is for the USC controls and this is for Canada control. So I've already done it. Let, let's just copy and paste it here. So for the first tier, it has country and it has a drop down. Control KD for formatting. It has, it has uh, ID detail country, it has uh, on, -change con on change event uh, named on content related for JavaScript, and it has two list items. And for this one, let us ID equal to TR USA, it is for USA, that is why it is named as USA TR Canada. So, I'm just going to copy the elements of USA. So USA has state, city, and zip code. And for Canada, it has province, city, and postal code. So let us save it and see the design. So it is going to look like this: state, city, and zip code, and province, city, and postal code. So I'm going to close this waveform two for now and just work with the waveform three. So here, uh, it has it has uh, the US and Canada controls and here is the on change uh, pen JavaScript function. Let us copy the function and write it here. Script type equal to text JavaScript. So inside this, I'm going to create a function name this one on select country selected change and find out the country name because based on the country name, we're going to show or hide the things. So, Country called document dot get element by id. What is the name of the element? Detail country. So it is coming from this one. So detail country dot value value. So if country equal to equal to USA because it is a USA, so it is going to do one job. And if it is uh, Canada, it is going to do another job. So what it is going to do it is going to show and hide the element so if it is USA it is going to show USA and hide Canada so it is going to show that uh, USA and it is going to hide the Canada control so if it is Canada it is going to show Canada elements and hide the US element so here USA is a is a element HTML element, element and it is going to be styled on display none and for Canada it is going to be nothing so it means it is going to show it so KD for formatting. Let us now see in the browser. Yes, here we are getting we are getting both of these because for the first time we are, we have done nothing to load only once only one. So if we change it to Canada, it is showing province, city, and postal code, which is correct, and for US it is showing state, city, and zip code, which is also correct. So let us fix that issue. So what I'm going to do is on uh, window dot on load event so I'm on window dot load I'm going to write an anonymous function and what is it going to do is it is uh, USA for the first load so we are going to show the USA element so we are going to hide the and the element so just copy and paste it here and save it and run it See here uh, for the first time it is showing only state uh, city and zip code for the USA and for Canada it is uh, going to show real state. So that's about it. Thank you for watching.